Hello, I'm Stella Metzvas, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important controversial subjects known in the world of food and farming, the disadvantages of genetically modified food. According to the World Health Organization, genetically modified or GM foods are foods that are derived from organisms whose genetic material has been modified in a way that does not occur naturally. For example, through the introduction of a gene from a different organism. Currently available, GM foods stem from mostly plants, but in the future, foods derived from GM microorganisms or GM animals are likely to be introduced on the market. Most existing GMOs have been developed to improve yield through the introduction of resistance to plant diseases or increased tolerance of herbicides. One fascinating point to note is that farmers since the beginning of time have been selectively breeding plants to improve on taste and less the risk of disease. But this has been done through natural selection, not artificial means like GM or genetically modifying through laboratory methods. Okay, so there's two ways to make a plant stronger. One, the natural way through the process of selection and breeding, and two, the laboratory, which includes super strains of genetic material. Another interesting note on GMOs are that you're probably eating foods and not even knowing it, especially if you live here in the United States. Over 60 to 70% of our foods have GMOs in their food supply. And in the U.S., companies do not have to label if their foods contain GMOs. If you want to stay away from GMOs, the worst offending foods are corn, soy, and wheat. And don't forget the animals that are actually fed GMO food or feed. This is why I often recommend organic free eggs, meat, and fish when possible.